So deliverance is evidence that the kingdom of heaven, which is invisible, is now come near. The invisible kingdom of God, which you probably prayed, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Oh, it'll come. And if there's demons inside you and you've broken your agreement with them, they will come up and come out and you'll be different. Come out! No! Come out! Never! Witchcraft! Never! Witchcraft! Come out of her now! Come out of her now! The blood of Jesus has broken your power. The blood. Look at the blood. Look at the blood. See the blood? I break it now. I break it now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. So the manifestations vary. Some are dramatic, some are very light, some are not at all. What counts is not the manifestation, but the person being free. So we don't look or glory in the manifestations, but honestly, I love them. Because when you see these things manifest, you see the reality, there is an invisible evil kingdom, and the kingdom of God is causing it grief. Tormenting spirits, fear, let them go now. Spirits of violence, let them go now. Out in Jesus, in Jesus' name. Bitterness, hatred. Drugs! Loose them! Loose them now! Loose them now! Loose them now! Loose them in Jesus' name! Unclean spirits! Loose them! The first man that I prayed for today, he was a very big man and he was extremely violent. Demons were fighting violently, he was growling. I needed people to come and support in that ministry because it becomes quite aggressive. Now, I'm not at all afraid. Doesn't matter how big they are, I know the demon is afraid of me. I command shame to go in Jesus' name. I command rejection to go in Jesus' name. I command self-hate to go in Jesus' name. I didn't have any kind of big manifestation, um, but just a lot of grief, and he kind of pinpointed different memories. Um, but there were some things where there was betrayals and kind of where I had opened up my heart Pastor Mike was praying, I just felt as I forgave and kind of just invited Holy Spirit into those places that he could set me free. Of the miracles that Jesus introduced, kingdom miracles, deliverance was number one. It was the one he was known for. Uh, they had never seen this or experienced this before. And Jesus taught that deliverance, when I cast out spirits, Matthew 12, 28, by the Holy Spirit or the power of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. In Acts 10.38, God anointed Jesus of uh, Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. He went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed of demons. Remember Jesus' ministry? The kingdom of heaven is at hand, and everywhere he went, he healed people. He set them free of oppressing demons. That word, heal those who are oppressed of the devil, the word oppressed means to be held down by spiritual power against your will. You're forced into a limited lifestyle of fear, poverty, negativity, rejection, doubt, unbelief, cynicism, whatever it is. So the kingdom, when it comes, it doesn't just come inside you, it comes upon you with power to set you free, which is what this encounter is about.